right. So this brief uh, presentation includes the following. We have a brief answer to what are the benefits of having a postgraduate degree. Then, uh, of course, we need to answer the question, why enroll in the graduate program of the university? The graduate programs that uh, we offer, program outcomes, or what are expected of uh, a PhD uh, student or a PhD graduate, then we uh, send to you the faculty members teaching in that program. Uh, perhaps we discuss a little about the mode of delivery, uh, some representatives of our alumni. And uh, I will just perhaps mention about scholarship, but I'm sure Ms. Gus will discuss this in details after me. All right, so let's begin. What are the benefits of having a post-graduate degree? Well, as we know, uh, post graduate, particularly the PhD or the doctoral degree is already the topmost uh, degree. It entails commitment, tenacity, hard work, and discipline to achieve it. So when, when you're able to achieve that uh, doctoral degree, when you're finished with a doctoral degree, it gives you a sense of uh, fulfillment. So maybe one of the benefits is personal. In that sense, you feel that uh, uh, that you have achieved something for yourself. It's for your personal satisfaction. At the same time, you have accomplished something with, uh, with a, a certain stage of your life. It also brings with it a sense of credibility. And of course, you have more opportunities and uh, promotion. Uh, those with a PhD degree have uh, better opportunities. They are they, they hold better positions no, than, than others. And of course, with that, uh, since it pays more, it pays more, then it also brings economic benefits. No? So you you um, you occupy uh, higher positions, and of course, it entails higher pay. What's most important is the fact that you are expected to contribute more to the society, to the community. Now, being an Augustinian particularly, you are expected to, to contribute to a transformation for the betterment of the community where you are in. Uh, also, it's also an opportunity to practice leadership and you are considered as an expert. And that's why it is, uh, uh, although it entails hard work, but it really pays a lot when you have a postgraduate degree, either a master's degree or a doctoral degree. All right, having said that, let's answer now the question, why enroll in the graduate program of the university? First, I would like to say that our program, uh, the programs of uh, education department is uh, recognized as one of the centers of development of CHED. And um, the programs are also passed to accredited level two. So with that, we, uh, we, we have the, um, uh, we have the permission and the capacity to offer these graduate uh, programs. Second uh, reason, perhaps, is the fact that Augustinian education is modeled on St. Augustine's approach to education. First, education is considered as a journey. Since it is a journey, then we prepare you towards that journey. We provide you with the necessary skills, um, content, knowledge, disciplinal knowledge, and of course, um, Augustinian values in order for you to face whatever challenge there may be in the future. And uh, we also work on a vision of a community. We, we are more concerned with the common good. So in our um, in our encounters, in our activities, we uh, uh, give we give uh, particular importance to community for for 
formation and transformation of a community. Meaning that we are not only contented with being a member of a community, but rather you have to effect change. You are there as a leader. And so we, um, in, in the uh, Augustinian approach to education, we develop leaders. We continue to search for truth because that's what uh, St. Augustine uh, uh, expected us to do, just like St. Augustine, right? We are, with this, we engage our students with experiences that can transform their lives, and not only their lives, but of course, of the community that um, they are in. Okay, another, um, uh, with, with this, we are committed to sustain to a sustained growth of society by developing professionals, entrepreneurial, and socially responsible uh, leaders. All right. In the course of uh, of um, um, to this uh, to this view, rather, these are the graduate programs offered by the university. Allow me to just uh, perhaps close my video. Okay, so the graduate programs of the university includes the following. So we have a PhD uh, in education programs and then a PhD in education and we have three um, majors, educational management, psychology and guidance, and curriculum development. I will just focus my um, discussion on the uh, program outcomes for the PhD in education, but we also offer master's uh, degree courses, master in education with uh, uh, majors in educational management, English, Filipino, mathematics, natural science, social science, religious education, uh, sorry, special and, and the special education. Okay, so if you are a graduate of a PhD in education, what are the expectations? I will just focus on PhD in education. And later, Dr. Aliman will uh, talk about uh, MA in education and the activities uh, expectations for the graduate uh, program. Okay. For uh, a PhD in education uh, student, you are expected to demonstrate the following. First, a comprehensive and in-depth in understanding of a complex and coherent knowledge in terms of theories, principles, and uh, skills, uh, rather principles and concepts, and uh, as well as skills, uh, skills in problem solving and uh, communication, uh, communication skills that are for, forefront of the academic discipline or professional area. Also, you are expected to demonstrate the ability to extend those knowledge and skills to generate new knowledge, particularly uh, involvement in uh, research training. So, okay. uh, involvement in uh, research, research activities. So, uh, in a, in, if you are in a doctoral program, you are you are uh, expected to, to publish your research paper. No? You need to, uh, to have publications, uh, particularly in the recent uh, CMO, CMO 15 series of 2019, all uh, graduate um, students are, all graduate students are already uh, are required to have pub uh, publications. For a PhD uh, degree, you need to have an international uh, either an international, international publication or a publication in a refereed uh, journal or peer-reviewed journal. 
Another program outcome expected of a PhD holder is the ability to make informed judgments on complex issues in specific fields of specialization and of approaching and solving problems in innovative uh, ways. So there, there is where you use your creativity and uh, the knowledge that you have learned. You, you do not just make judgment, but this, is, this should be based on data and uh, uh, research results. All right. Uh, finally, an Augustinian graduate is expected to demonstrate Augustinian values in their personal and community endeavor as agents of social transformation in line with the university advocacies and the trust of the education profession. So our key word here is really social transformation. And uh, that's that's also our commitment to the society, not only in our local society, but uh, regional, national, and international, because we are now a member of the global community. All right. So to walk you through towards the achievement of the program outcomes expected of the PhD uh, graduate or a graduate uh, postgrad uh, student, I will introduce uh, you to I will introduce to you the uh, the men and men and women which are uh, of significant contribution to your education or to your future education should you join us. So the college where the education program belongs is headed by our very able um, um, and supportive and dynamic dean, Dr. Nenilin De La Fuente. She is a holder of a Bachelor of Secondary Education in English from LaSalle College. Uh, an MA Ed in Reading from the University of the Philippines in the Visayas and a PhD in Educational Management from the University of Bengal's Occidental Recollect. She is a licensed professional teacher and uh, been in the university for three years now. Well, of course, this is me, your academic supervisor. I am Maria Delsa Ganghe. I graduated. Uh, um, uh, I graduated from Philippine Normal College. I have a Bachelor of Science in Biology program. Then I took my MS, MS Biology from the University of the Philippines, Diliman, and my PhD in Science Education from West Visay State University. I am also a professional licensed teacher, teacher, and I've been in the university for 32 years. Next here is Professor Maria Cecilia Aliman. Dr. Aliman graduated cum laude, cum laude from this university, the Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education in English. She's a holder of two master's degrees, a, a Master of Arts in Education major in English, and Master of Arts in Education major in SPED. That's why she teaches in both the programs. Uh, all the, both of these are from Western Visayas State University. She's also a holder of, the, of a PhD in English Studies major in language from the University of the Philippines, Diliman. She's a, a professional, a holder of a professional license for professional teacher and been in the university for 20 years. Mr. Frank Embultura is our uh, expert in uh, inclusive education. He took his uh, Bachelor of Science in Nursing from St. Paul University, and then uh, he proceeded to uh, a Master in Education major in SPED from West Visayas State University. And uh, she's been in the university for 14, 14 years. Also, in addition to being a registered nurse, he is a holder of a professional license, a professional uh, license for teachers. With us is also uh, Dr. Alejo 
Saskatoon. Of course, uh, Surbiton is connected uh, with the uh, ASAP University. It's currently the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Sir Biton, Dr. Biton is the holder of Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences in English from West Side State University. He is an MA in Social Sciences from West Side State University and a uh, uh, graduate also of PhD in Educational Management from West Side uh, State University. Sir Biton has been with us for 22 years. One of the pillars of the graduate programs of the university. Dr. Rosalie Espartero. Um, is a holder also is a holder of a Bachelor of Secondary Education. She graduated from this university, Cum Laude. Holder of a Master of Instructional Leadership from this school and a PhD in Educational Management from uh, our very own university. She served the university for 21 years and uh, of course, a licensed professional teacher. Mom Haro, uh, Dr. May Ann Haro is, uh, is currently the uh, principal of senior high school and our um, curriculum uh, expert. She holds a PhD in curriculum development. Dr. Nora Ligasti graduated from San Augustinian through and through. She graduated AD Political Science. She also graduated her MA Educational Management and PhD Educational Management in this um, institution in the graduate school. Father uh, Rodel D. Mahin OSA. Father Mahin um, has an AB philosophy from St. Pius uh, Seminary, then a uh, holder of MA theology major in pastoral ministry from CICM Mary Hill School of Theology. Uh, later, he took a licensiate in sacred theology major in biblical theology from Loyola uh, School of Theology, Ateneo de Manila. And recently, he graduated his Doctor of Sacred Theology, major in Biblical Theology, from the Yola School of Theology at the Nea de Manila. He's been with, uh, with us in the university for six years. Dr. James Pedregosa is the former academic supervisor of the education program. He holds a Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English, from Tuluman University. A Master of Education in English from the University of the Philippines in the Visayas. He also took Bachelor of Laws from the University of Iloilo and a holder of PhD in Education, Language Education from the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Uh, Dr. Pedregosa has been serving the university for 23 years and of course a licensed professional teacher. Next in line is uh, Dr. Maria Socorro Leong-On. Dr. Leong-On is a graduate of the University of St. Augustine, Cum Laude, from, uh, with a degree Bachelor of Science in Theology. He, uh, she also graduated uh, her Master of Science in Theology from UP in the Visayas and a PhD in Science Education major in biology from West Visayas State University and graduated with the highest distinction. She is also a licensed professional teacher and uh, she's been with the university for 21, for 31 years. Next is we have Dr. Reynaldo Mariano. Uh, Dr. Mariano is um, the holder of Bachelor of Science in Psychology uh, from the University of Perpetual Health College, Laguna. He is, uh, he is also a holder of Master of Guidance and Counseling and of course he is teaching in the Psychology and uh, Guidance uh, program because he holds a PhD a degree in Clinical Psychology, University of Santo Tomas, um, University of Santo Tomas. Next in line is uh, uh, Dr. Uh, 
Pinky Hasmin Poral. Dr. Poral is the academic supervisor of the languages. She holds a Bachelor of Arts from West Visayas State University, MA Education and Language Teaching in English from West Visayas State University, and a graduated her PhD in Educational Management from this university, a licensed professional teacher, and um, she's been teaching in the university for 26 years. Next is, in line is Dr. Samis, Dr. Edwin Samis. Uh, Dr. Samis graduated uh, his AB Political Science from University of Negros Occidental Regulators, MA Ed Social Studies from West Visayas State University, and a PhD in Social Science from the University, uh, PhD in is also a licensed professional teacher and um, has been here in the university for 25 years. Dr. Tarol is next in line and Dr. Tarol is uh, teaching in the SPED uh, program. Uh, she's a holder of MA Special Education and the PhD in Educational Management. Our uh, awardee, Dr. Sustento, Erwin Sustento, uh, he graduated his Bachelor of Secondary Education in Filipino, uh, brother major in Filipino from this university. He took his uh, MA education major in Filipino from the University of San Jose as well, and then PhD in Educational Management from this university, and another PhD in Education major in Filipino from Bohol University, also a licensed professional teacher and serving the university for 21 years. Next in line is Dr. Sheila Marcella Villanueva. <clears throat> Dr. Villanueva is the academic supervisor of uh, uh, psychology. Uh, uh, she holds an MA psychology major in social and industrial psychology from University of San Carlos and a doctor of philosophy and psychology from the University of Negros Occidental Recoletos. Uh, she is a registered guidance counselor. All right. So those members of the faculty are the ones that uh, take care. They take care of our students, guide them, and um, um, provide mentoring even. And with them, with their guidance, our uh, we look forward to the. In the graduation of our students right in time uh, as based on their study plan. Meaning that if your course is just good for two years uh, coursework and then two years is allotted for uh, finishing your dissertation, then we try so hard to be able to um, help you through and graduate on time. Particularly now that we have uh, scholars. Now, um, let's talk about the mode of uh, delivery. Well, uh, this time it's still flexible and uh, we still uh, are uh, we still are online um, mode. We still, are, we still implement an online mode. This online mode is of course through uh, synchronous. Uh, we hold synchronous session and uh, sometimes uh, asynchronous session. So meaning that uh, you can consult with your uh, professor, with your uh, course uh, advisor or mentors at, um, at any time uh, you agreed upon, right? So you can also <clears throat> you can also um, um, you can also have a moment of discussion with your classmates, with uh, with the peers, so that uh, you will have. Um, will have uh, more or uh, enriched learning uh, uh, sessions and environment. So even if we go back to the face-to-face -face, um, mode of delivery later on, uh, we still would like to continue on this online uh, uh, mode. We already have students uh, from uh, other parts of the country, particularly our scholars, they come from other regions. Also, we have students from outside of the country and uh, we would like them to continue and uh, finish what they have started with, uh, with 
with us. So we would like to walk them through. And uh, that's what we're intent what, what that's what we intend to do. And of course, when you come to us, we will try our best to help you uh, finish with the course either online, synchronous, asynchronous, or face to face. Just uh, talk with us. And of course, uh, we have to make sure that we do not uh, we just uh, do not sacrifice the quality of education that we intend to offer. Of course, um, we value collaborative learning because as we said, as I uh, mentioned a while ago, the Augustinian approach to uh, education is community building, uh, transforming communities. And so we have to collaborate. So we, we, um, um, we develop this um, culture, collaborative learning among our students and among our peers. We also have um, mentoring, mentoring programs, uh, both course work, uh, research. Okay? We also have peer mentoring. We have early um, referral uh, uh, programs. If you have difficulties, you just have to talk with your professors. Uh, you talk to the you know, office personnel. And um, we, try, we will try our best to help you and facilitate Whatever, um, whatever we can to help. Of course, um, we provide guidance as well in research and publication. We have our uh, research office and um, uh, agencies to help you. So we have Center for Educational and Institutional Research. We also have our Office of Research and Local Relations. And uh, in, um, they facilitate um, needs, research needs, particularly in terms of uh, ethics review, also uh, needed for publication. We also have our journals and the graduate school, graduate school journals and college journals for your publication needs. The university um, offers a lot of student support services and facilities of course we have uh, our library facilities we have student um, uh, student uh, services we have our guidance services okay and uh, if um, the opportunity allows that uh, we go back to a face-to-face -face, uh, mode of learning then we have more uh, activities for our graduate students, not only in academics, but also in community service and um, um, in spirituality, because we are an Augustinian institution. So we, only, we do not only develop leadership in you, but of course, holistic development, right? So we also have our linkages, both local and international. Some of these were mentioned already in the video. Um, um, recently, we have uh, started with uh, inbound and outbound uh, classes, particularly with the special, uh, special um, education uh, group, okay, with the, such the university um, in Thailand, okay? Of course, we follow the outcomes, we implement other the outcomes based education. So with this, we hope to provide you with um, um, the best learning opportunities, best learning environment. And uh, we really intend to help you be able to complete the, the postgraduate studies at a given study plan. Okay, so just to have a feel of our alumni, where are they now? Of course, again, I have, as I have mentioned, uh, we develop leaders now. Uh, most of our students are, um, are um, leaders in their uh, respective uh, agencies, uh, in their academic uh, areas. So uh, principals, uh, university president, administrators, Right, so um, this is just a sample of uh, those the alumni of the graduate program. So we have Dr. Rex Pasiple, who is the chief educational program education program specialist 
of the Commission of Higher Education in Region 6. Then we have Dr. Ruby Catalan, now the Vice President for Academic Affairs at Gimara State University. Uh, Dr. Catalan was, uh, was a former dean of the Graduate School of the University. Then we have Dr. Erwin Sustento, um, an awardee, 2008 Gawad from Papara sa Pinakamahusay na Guru sa Kulaheo. Dr. Sustento is one of the faculty members in the uh, graduate uh, school as well. Then we have Dr. Dorothy Tarol. Um, she's connected with the uh, SPED ISEC University of Iloilo. But of course, we know that Dr. Tarol uh, was a Metrobank awardee in 2019, and we're, we're proud of that. Dr. Tarol is also one of uh, the faculty members of the graduate program, particularly in the Masters in Special Education. Then we have Dr. Amabel Chasson, um, who is currently the Associate Dean of the College of Education of West Visayas State University. And here we have Dr. Maria Janeline Fundal. Uh, she's the former education program a supervisor of the Department of Education, but uh, now she is, you know, in a global arena. Uh, serving as um, serving as uh, an umpire in um, um, events like Olympics. So this is her picture in the Tokyo uh, Olympics. Okay. Um, well, you can also um, apply for a um, scholarship. If you want, but of course, the details of this will be discussed by Ms. Gus later on. Uh, one of the recent uh, scholarships that some of our students enjoy is the Chad CCAP Scholarship Program. Uh, CCAP stands for Staff and Instructors Knowledge Advancement Program, which is intended actually to provide help uh, uh, to the tertiary uh, or higher education institutions as affected by the recent um, pandemic, the K-12 no, and the uh, perhaps pandemic. Okay, so this was initiated by the CHED and recently um, they're really uh, beefing up with the uh, um, application. So uh, those who are interested, you may apply. And um, the fact that the University of San Agustin is already a delivering institution, meaning that we comply with the uh, you know, requirement for offering the, the course. And so our programs are uh, recognized uh, in this uh, SICA uh, scholarship program. So it's like saying that we already have, we are already one step forward to the accomplishing the requirements for the CHED SICA program. If you are enrolled to the University of San Agustin graduate uh, programs so here is the link that uh, you may uh, you may make use of just click this link and uh, you will be brought to the site of the commission on higher, edu uh, on higher education CCAP uh, project all right so the details are there uh, eligibility requirements the uh, of implementation etc and of course the financial assistance is um, um, the financial assistance um it's worth your time and submission of the requirements it's a lucrative uh, financial assistance so even if uh, you can apply as a full-time scholar you can also apply as a part-time scholar you can even apply even if you are already separated from the institution uh, that you were connected just along within 12 months huh? so let's say for example uh, you were connected uh, to this university last year no? because of certain circumstances you were out right you can still apply okay you can also apply as a, you know, a part-timer right okay so i think this is now the end of my presentation the, the rest of the university scholarship program will be discussed with you by gus right so i hope um, uh, somehow i have um, introduced you to the program of, uh, uh, of the education department of the university of, the, of Classe and their of course the university of san Agustin, and hoping that uh, looking forward rather to the you know more students to come to us okay so join us and be an augustinian educational leader
thank you very much and uh, have a good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Mom Gang He, for giving us an overview on the benefits and what to expect when you enroll in graduate programs. I hope our participants, whom I believe are most, if not all, uh, education students, so I hope you are encouraged enough or enticed to proceed and finish further studies if uh, you are in line with this profession. Next, we'll have Dr. Maria Cecilia Aliman, faculty member, to uh, give us an orientation on the master's education program of the university. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone, especially to the Dean of the College, Dr. Nanilin De La Fuente, to Dr. Delsa Ganghe, the academic supervisor, to all academic supervisors who are here right now, to all graduate students. Allow me to share with you a little information about the Master of Arts in Education program in the University of San Agustin. Now my task this afternoon in this Usapan 2022, which is a virtual career orientation seminar of the University of San Agustin, is to probably give you a little information about the master's program. So allow me to stop my video and start with a lecture proper. I think uh, this is just very short. I only have 13 slides. So for a start, Allow me to share with you the quotation from Abraham Lincoln, which he said, the best way to predict the future is to, to create it. I would like to welcome each and every one of you to the University of San Agustin graduate programs. And as what Abraham Lincoln said, you are now going to build your own future with your enrollment in the graduate program. Now, what are the graduate programs that we have in the college? So we have Master of Arts in Master of Arts in Education, or no, I'm sorry, Master of Arts in Guidance and Counseling, and then Master of Arts in Religious Studies, and Master of Arts in Education, major in English, Filipino, Mathematics, Natural Science, Physics, Religious Education social science and special education. So all these programs have their own corresponding academic requirements as regards the units and um, also the different deliverables that are supposed to be met prior to graduation. So why are you in a master's degree? Or why are you enrolled in a master's degree? In other words, what can you do with a master's degree? With a master's degree, you will be able to fulfill some necessary requirements. Uh, there are some workplaces that require uh, masters as the entry point. Uh, in the public school, master teachers are also part of the requirements or getting a master's degree is also one of the requirements for you to be considered as a master teacher. You will also have your career progression by enrolling in a master's degree. So you'll be able to improve or uh, step up in your career. You will also have an experience to upgrade your profession. So this is professional upgrading. You become a better professional because you are educated and you are given the opportunity to learn more. You also increase your professional marketability. So between a master's degree and a non-master's degree, the employment most of the time goes to one with a master's degree. And so therefore, you are given a chance of a better pay. And as well as you will become an expert in your particular field. So um, your master's degree 
will do a lot of benefits with regard to your profession. Aside from that, uh, you can also have uh, an increased proficiency. You will increase your proficiency in your discipline. Uh, you will have more money. You will be also having to enjoy more freedom because you have more money. But I don't think that this is the main focus of your enrollment in the graduate program. You also get firsthand experience. Your collaboration with your classmates will provide you with firsthand experiences with regard to your profession. You will also be given a chance to become a lifelong learner. Learning does not stop. Because as long as you are in school, you continue to learn, even if you are not in school either. But you will be ha having an opportunity to learn a lot if you are enrolled in the graduate program. It will also give you a chance to have a career change if you plan to. If you don't, then you can have other opportunities that the master's program are going to offer to you. You'll also have the open your door to relocation granting that you are going to get your master's degree in other places. And it will give you a sense of personal accomplishment. There are a lot of professionals whose um, goal in enrolling in the graduate program is definitely to get a sense of personal accomplishment. And for one, I am no exemption of this particular reason. And um, some, what are some of the activities that you have to engage with if you are enrolled in the graduate program? So you can engage in professional development through research presentations. So I, I would like to commend those students in the graduate program who took the courage to join research presentations, both local and international. So what you see on your screen right now are faculty members of the college and also some students who participated in um, research presentations and you can also engage in student mentoring in the undergraduate level so some teachers some teachers rather give their grad students opportunities to observe classes in the undergrad and sometimes they are also given the opportunity to join or to conduct demonstration classes in order for them to improve their professional competencies okay and uh being a part of the graduate program you can also have attendance to conferences and fora so both students and faculty are also encouraged to attend to these conferences and many of our teachers have already presented their papers, both local and abroad. And we are starting now to invite students to do the same. So recently, we were able to have some graduate students who participated in the conferences by merely participants. But many of them also have presented their researches. And uh, aside from, from those, then we can you can also establish professional linkages. Both faculty and students can have a professional linkages uh, by attending conferences. You'll be able to take the opportunity to know other people in the same profession and also will be able to learn something from them. You can exchange your ideas and the uh, benchmark and uh, you'll be able to find out that there are a lot of things that you will need to learn from others. You can also be involved in community service and outreach programs. So uh, the students as well as the faculty of the college are also encouraged to at least participate in the outreach programs because our community can also be a venue in which we will be able to learn. And finally, uh, I'm showing to you a sample of a graduate program professional development plan wherein any graduate student will be able to come up with in the duration of their graduate program experience. So that you can craft your graduate program professional development plan uh, by doing 
some of the activities that are suggested here. You can start with your department or your discipline, followed by innovations, research, and community service. You have also to plan out activities for this, curriculum and instruction, and Augustinian development and professional ethics. So take note that in all the stages of the graduate program, you will be able to do the suggested activities here, like read papers and professional journals in your field, accomplish course requirements, uh, for innovations, research, and community service, you can participate in academic lectures and fora and also attend conferences and research colloquia. For your curriculum and instruction, you can probably visit school websites for updates and announcements and also explore uh, your university learning resource center for resource materials that you can probably make use of in the duration of your graduate program and augustinian development and professional ethics you can reflect on the ethical dimension of your profession at the same time inquire on ethical procedures in the conduct of your research at the center for educational and institutional research now what comes after this are some of the activities that you can also engage in starting from the early part of your coursework in the middle stage of your coursework up to the final stage of your coursework which will lead you to your final research paper and all this you can look at this graduate program or graduate professional development program and try to design your own deliverables all throughout your academic program. So you will be able to have a clear focus and uh, you need to have a goal to achieve. By the end of a particular period, you'll be able to accomplish all those lists that you were able to include in your graduate program professional development plan. Okay, so with that, allow me to end with these quotations from St. Augustine and from Robert Greene. St. Augustine said, each of us had something to learn from the others and something to teach in return. In the graduate school, we'll be able to achieve this particular message. We learn from the others and we learn to share with each other. And the future belongs to those who learn more skills and combine them in creative ways. I would like to assure you that in the graduate program, you will be able to learn more, do not stagnate in your profession, and you will become a lifelong learner. And with the charisma of St. Augustine, you will be a different kind of professional in the future as you exercise your expertise, your professional development, at the same time, integrating the values that you have learned from your alma mater, the University of San Agustin Graduate School. With that, I would like to thank each and everyone for their time. Thank you for your time and keep safe everyone.